And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he went not, as at other times, to seek for enchantments. But he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents according to their tribes and the Spirit of God came upon him. And he took up his parable, and said, Balaam the son of Beor hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said. He hath said, which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel! As the valleys are they spread forth, as gardens by the river side, as the trees of line aloes, which the Lord hath planted, and as cedar trees beside the waters. He shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt he hath as it were the strength of an unicorn he shall eat up the nations, his enemies, and shall break their bones, and pierce them through with his arrows. He couched, he lay down as a lion, and as a great lion who shall stir him up. Blessed is he that blesseth thee, and cursed is he that curseth thee. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he smote his hands together and Balak said unto Balaam, I called thee to curse mine enemies, and, behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now flee thou to thy place I thought to promote thee unto great honor but, lo, the Lord hath kept thee back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Spake I not also to thy messengers which thou sendest unto me, saying, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord, to do either good or bad of mine own mind, but what the Lord saith, that will I speak. And now, behold, I go unto my people come therefore, and I will advertise thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. And he took up his parable, and said, Balaam the son of Beor hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said. He hath said, which heard the words of God, and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now I shall behold him, but not nigh there. Shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom shall be a possession, Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable, and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And he looked on the Kenites, and took up his parable, and said, Strong is thy dwelling place, and thou puttest thy nest in a rock. Nevertheless the Kenite shall be wasted, until Asher shall carry thee away captive. And he took up his parable, and said, Alas, who shall live when God doth this? And ships shall come from the coast of Chittim, and shall afflict Asher, and shall afflict Eber, and he also shall perish forever. And Balaam rose up, and went and returned to his place and Balak also went his way. And Israel abode in Shittim, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab. And they called the people unto the sacrifices of their gods and the people did eat, and bowed down to their gods. And Israel joined himself unto Baalpeor and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take all the heads of the people, and hang them up before the Lord against the sun, that the fierce anger of the Lord may be turned away from Israel. And Moses said unto the judges of Israel, Slay ye every one his men that were joined unto Baalpeor. And, behold, one of the children of Israel came and brought unto his brethren a Midianitish woman in the sight of Moses, and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel, who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And when Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saw it, he rose up from among the congregation, and took a javelin in his hand. And he went after the man of Israel into the tent, 
and thrust both of them through, the man of Israel, and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Israel. And those that died in the plague were twenty and four thousand. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, hath turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, while he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consumed not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Wherefore say, Behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace. And he shall have it, and his seed after him. Even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood because he was zealous for his God, and made an atonement for the children of Israel. Now the name of the Israelite that was slain, even that was slain with the Midianitish woman, was Zimri, the son of Salu a prince of a chief house among the Simeonites. And the name of the Midianitish woman that was slain was Cosby, the daughter of Zer he was head over a people, and of a chief house in Midian. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Vex the Midianites, and smite them. For they vex you with their wiles, wherewith they have beguiled you in the matter of Peor, and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of a prince of Midian, their sister which was slain in the day of the plague for Peor's sake. And it came to pass after the plague, that the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. And Moses and Eleazar the priest spake with them in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people, from twenty years old and upward as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt. Reuben, the eldest son of Israel the children of Reuben Hanach, of whom cometh the family of the Hanachites of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and they that were numbered of them were forty and three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. And the sons of Palu Eliab, and the sons of Eliab Nemuel, and Dathan, and Abiram. This is that Dathan and Abiram, which were famous in the congregation, who strove against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah, when they strove against the Lord. And the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed them up together with Korah, when that company died. What time the fire devoured two hundred and fifty men and they became a sign. Notwithstanding the children of Korah died not. The sons of Simeon after their families of Nemuel. The family of the Nemelites of Hamin. The family of the Jamanites of Jachin. The family of the Jachinites. Of Zerah. The family of the Zerhites of Shal the family of the Shalites. These are the families of the Simeonites, twenty and two thousand and two hundred. The children of Gad after their families of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites of Haggi, the family of the Haggites of Shuni, the family of the Shunites. Of Ozni, the family of the Oznites of Eri, the family of the Arites. Of Arod, the family of the Aradites of Areli, the family of the Arlites. These are the families of the children of Gad according to those that were numbered of them, forty thousand and five hundred. The sons of Judah were Ur and Onan and Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah after their families were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites of Pharez. The family of the Pharzites of Zerah, the family of the Zerhites. And the sons of Pharez were of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites of Hamel, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Judah according to those that were numbered of them, threescore and sixteen thousand and five hundred. Of the sons of Issachar after their families of Tola, the family of the Tolites of Pua, the family of the Punites. Of Jashub, the family of the Jeshubites of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar according to those that were numbered of them, threescore and four thousand and three hundred. Of the sons of Zebulun after their families of Surd, the family of the Sardites of Elon. The family of the Elanites of Jalil, the family of the Jalilites. 
These are the families of the Zebulonites according to those that were numbered of them, three score thousand and five hundred. The sons of Joseph after their families were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh of Machir, the family of the Machirites and Machir begat Gilead of Gilead come the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites of Helic, the family of the Helicites, and of Azrael, the family of the Azraelites, and of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, and of Shemedah, the family of the Shemedites, and of Hefer, the family of the Heferites. And Zelophehad the son of Hefer had no sons, but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala, and Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. These are the families of Manasseh, and those that were numbered of them, fifty and two thousand and seven hundred. These are the sons of Ephraim after their families of Shuthela, the family of the Shuthalhites of Becher, the family of the Bachrites of Tahan, the family of the Tahanites. And these are the sons of Shuthela of Aran, the family of the Aaronites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim according to those that were numbered of them, thirty and two thousand and five hundred. These are the sons of Joseph after their families. The sons of Benjamin after their families of Bela, the family of the Belet of Ashbel. The family of the Ashblites of Ahiram, the family of the Ahiramites. Of Shuppam, the family of the Shufamites of Huppam, the family of the Hufamites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman of Ard, the family of the Ardites and of Naaman, the family of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred. These are the sons of Dan after their families of Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. These are the families of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those that were numbered of them, were threescore and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Asher after their families of Jimna, the family of the Jimnites of Jesui, the family of the Jesuites of Bariah, the family of the Bereites. Of the sons of Bariah of Eber, the family of the Heberites of Malchiel, the family of the Malchielites. And the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher according to those that were numbered of them who were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. Of the sons of Naphtali after their families of Jezeel, the family of the Jezeelites of Guni, the family of the Gunites. Of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites of Shilam, the family of the Shilamites. These are the families of Naphtali according to their families and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and four hundred. These were the numbered of the children of Israel, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and thirty. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Unto these the land shall be divided for an inheritance according to the number of names. To many thou shalt give the more inheritance, and to few thou shalt give the less inheritance to every one shall his inheritance be given. According to those that were numbered of him, Notwithstanding the land shall be divided by lot according to the names of the tribes of their fathers they shall inherit. According to the lot shall the possession thereof be divided between many and few. And these are they that were numbered of the Levites after their families of Gershon. The family of the Gershonites of Kohath, the family of the Kohathites of Merari, the family of the Merarites. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Malites, the family of the Mushites, the family of the Korathites. And Kohath begat Amram, and the name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Levi, whom her mother bare to Levi in Egypt, and she bare unto Amram Aaron and Moses, and Miriam their sister. And unto Aaron was born Nadab, and Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died, when they offered strange fire before the Lord. And those that were numbered of them were twenty and three thousand, all males from a month old and upward for they were not numbered among the children of Israel. Because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Israel. These are they that were numbered by Moses and Eliezer the priest who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. 
but among these there was not a man of them whom Moses and Aaron the priest numbered, when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said of them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was not left a man of them, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua the son of Nun. Then came the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hepher, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh the son of Joseph, and these are the names of his daughters Mala, Noah, and Hagla, and Milcah, and Terzah. And they stood before Moses, and before Eliezer, the priest, and before the princes and all the congregation, by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, our father died in the wilderness, and he was not in the company of them that gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died in his own sin, and had no sons. Why should the name of our father be done away from among his family, because he hath no son? Give unto us therefore a possession among the brethren of our father. And Moses brought their cause before the Lord. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, the daughters of Zelophehad speak right thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren and thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a man die, and have no son, then ye shall cause his inheritance to pass unto his daughter. And if he have no daughter, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his brethren. And if he have no brethren, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his father's brethren. And if his father have no brethren, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his kinsman that is next to him of his family. And he shall possess it and it shall be unto the children of Israel a statute of judgment, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses, Get thee up into this Mount Abarim, and see the land which I have given unto the children of Israel. And when thou hast seen it, thou also shalt be gathered unto thy people, as Aaron thy brother was gathered. For ye rebelled against my commandment in the desert of Zin, in the strife of the congregation, to sanctify me at the water before their eyes. That is the water of Meribah in Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may bring them in that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay thine hand upon him, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation and give him a charge in their sight. And thou shalt put some of thine honor upon him, that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall ask counsel for him after the judgment of Urim before the Lord at his word. Shall they go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the children of Israel with him, even all the congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him and he took Joshua, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation. And he laid his hands upon him, and gave him a charge, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses.